Number 66. As it cools, olive oil slowly solidifies and forms a solid over a range of temperatures, which best describes the solid. And then we have multiple choice. Gotta love it. So is this olive oil, when it solidifies, is it going to turn into an ionic solid, covalent network, metallic, amorphous, or a molecular crystal? Okay. So there's basically one overall piece of information that we have to get out of the way. Now, when we're talking about something solidifying or freezing, basically what's going on here is you're turning a liquid into a solid. And generally speaking, right, all the olive oil that you use for cooking, that's going to be in the liquid form. But just know that olive oil can turn into a solid, you know, depending on what the temperature is in very, very low temps. So when we're talking about freezing or solidifying, I think I spelled that right. So we'll say freezing. Same words for this, you know, different words for the same process. But you'll, you're basically going to form two different solids. A crystalline solid. And an amorphous solid. Now, the types of solids, there's only two general types of solids. This comes from the molecule that's in question. And the molecule that's in question is olive oil. Now, if I just asked you right now, what's the, what's the chemical formula for olive oil? Would you be able to tell me? Yeah, no. I mean, there's so many different olive oils, first of all, but I don't know, you know, the chemical components of the word olive oil, right? Now, we do know that there's some carbons in there, hydrogens, oxygens, because an olive oil is one of your lipids from biology. It's a type of fat. So it's got to come from the lipid family, so it's carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen-based. However, I don't know if there are six carbons in olive oil off the top of my head. I don't know if there's seven or ten or twelve, right? So from here, I can't really get a, you know, a chemical formula. But just know that all of your lipids and all your fats, especially olive oil, right, these are long-chained. These are long chain fatty acids, or we could say lipids, right? They're long. They're so, 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 so long. Meaning that if you had, you know, if there was the breakdown of what olive oil was, right? You would see like these crazy tails combined uh, threefold. Now this is like biology based. And if you go into organic chemistry, you'll see what this type of structure really is. It's like the condensed, uh, organic structure for drawing carbons, but don't, don't really pay attention to that as much as what we need to know here. But just know that anytime that you're dealing with lipids or fat or any type of long compound, these do not have the time to turn into a crystal formation. Crystalline uh, solids are very, very, very structured, where all of the uh, molecules or ions that you're talking about are very geometrically placed, and it looks so geometrically pleasing, and everything is in the nice, you know, a nice line, and it just keeps repeating, repeating, repeating. Amorphous solids are kind of like all over the place. So when they form, they try to form the crystalline appearance, but time does not allow it, and it kind of get like a little bit wonky. So they did give us a substance that is a very, very, very long carbon chain. It would not have the amount of time to form this very rigid crystalline solid. So anytime that they're talking about olive oils or oils in general or lipids or fats, these are always going to form your amorphous solids. And that would be the answer. And amorphous is on the multiple choice letter D. 
Now, just know that all the other ones that are on here, right? You might say, well, Christina, well, we didn't even talk about ionic, covalent, metallic, or molecular. Because all the other ones, A, B, C, and E, these are all part of your crystalline structures. So as you break down crystalline structures, they start turning into their own categories, whether you're ionic, covalent, metallic, or molecular. And I hope this makes sense. What'd you think? Thanks for coming to the channel to get help on your chemistry class. I love helping you guys out. My brother does as well. He does the um, physics videos on the channel for right now. And um, there's also math videos on the channel as well. So just check the channel out. We'd love to help you guys as well. And I hope you're doing uh, well in your studies and you're staying safe and stay healthy. And thanks for being part of the community. If you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button and... I'll talk to you soon. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.